Now, by the way, this is the 50th anniversary of the Korean War. Any Korean War veterans out there? Yes, I see some. Very good. Very, thank you. Welcome to the Forgotten War. Thank you, Mike. I also have a pair of very nice and prescription sunglasses that were left out. So if anybody has any missing prescription sunglasses, they'll be up over here at the end of the table. Next speaker up is the other senator from, the other lady senator from Olathe. We'll hear from our gentleman senator a little bit later in the program. Senator Karen Brownlee from District 23. Thank you for the being here. And Julia and Joe. Almost good afternoon, but thank you for being here. And I'll just say real quickly um, that the three state, the three state senators from Olathe that were going to purchase your beans and Sprint stepped up and Sprint sponsored the baked beans. So right. tell Sprint thank you. But we'd be glad to help in any way we can. So, but what I appreciate. I appreciate that you're here, because that means you're interested, you're in tune, and you know what's going on, and that's what we need. In Topeka, and even though we have a majority of Republicans in the legislature, we have a minority who are willing to vote fiscally conservatively, and also a minority that are willing to support the traditional family values that we embrace. We need to change what we've got in Topeka. The only budgets I've been able to support have been the ones, in the last several years, have been the ones where we've had to cut the budget just because we're out of money. Otherwise, we spend so much money, I can't support those budgets. And we need people to come into the Kansas legislature who are willing to have a perspective that it's not the government's money, that it's your money. And, and we've lost sight of that totally. So, uh, the, other, the other thing... Move back. Thank you. Move back. Thank you. The other thing that we need to work on is helping people understand that business is not a dirty word. That's right. In Kansas, we tend to not listen to the businesses and you know what? If we don't have private citizens and businesses paying taxes, how do we provide government services? And we've lost sight that you don't have a healthy, uh, without a healthy private sector, you don't fund the public sector. You don't fund those jobs. And we've been growing government jobs. We've been losing private sector jobs. Totally backwards. So we just need some more help in the legislature to get things turned around and to help people understand what really drives our culture. And what drives our culture are people like you that care about your family and they go to work and work hard every day. And that's what makes us a culture that's going to go forward. So we've got work to do, but I'm glad you guys are on board. Thank you for being here. 